y'all, I'm Lisa Shively. I'm working with the North Carolina Department of Agriculture and Consumer Services and the North Carolina Sweet Potato Commission. Today I'm going to make my sweet potato pie. Now this recipe is out of my cookbook, my fat little sweet potato cookbook. Now this is a hundred of the world's greatest sweet potato recipes and you can find it online at cookingwithlisa.com. To get started with this recipe, I'm going to add one and a half cups of sugar, two tablespoons of flour, one five ounce can of evaporated milk. Now shake this up good before you add it in and be sure to use evaporated milk, not condensed. Adding one egg that I've lightly beaten already. Gonna mix that up good. Okay, and one teaspoon of vanilla. Then stir this well. Now this recipe calls for two cups of mashed cooked sweet potatoes. So before I got started, I cooked two sweet potatoes in the microwave. Let them cool good, peel them, and mash them with a fork until you've got two cups. I've already done that. I'm going to add this now. And remember, anytime you can cook your sweet potatoes with the skins on, they'll have more nutrition that way. And for this recipe, that's perfect. Okay, I'm just going to mix this until it's nice and smooth. I'm going to pour the sweet potato mixture right into a deep dish pie shell. Okay, this sweet potato pie is a little different because it has a glaze that goes on top before it goes in the oven. To get started with our glaze, we're going to mix a half a cup of sugar and two and a half teaspoons of flour. Two tablespoons of butter and melt that first and two tablespoons of milk. Okay, we're going to stir this until it thickens. I think you'll see this will make a nice golden crust on top of the pie. Alright, just pour the glaze over the pie. Then we're going to top it with pecans. Now if your mother-in-law is coming or somebody else you want to impress, use pecan halves and place them pretty across the top of the pie. If this is just for a family dinner, I like to use chopped pecans and just sprinkle them on top. Before we put this pie into the oven, we're going to cover the edges with aluminum foil so they don't brown too quickly. I put the pie on a cookie sheet because it's just easier to handle a pie with the cookie sheet than the pie itself to keep from shifting around. Okay, we've covered the edges. I'm going to put it in the oven at 375 degrees for 45 minutes. Then I'll uncover the edges and bake it for another 15 minutes. Okay, well our pie is out of the oven. Remember it cooked at 375 degrees for 45 minutes with foil around the edges. Then you remove the foil and cook it for another 15 minutes or so until the pie test done when you put a knife in the center of it and it comes out clean. Isn't that gorgeous? I don't know about y'all, but I'm ready for some sweet potato pie. Thank you for joining me and I'll see you again next time.